welcome to Hard Copy, the program where we bring you the people behind the news. I'm Maupe Ogun. Now, it's no doubt it's been a very tough year for many sectors of the Nigerian economy, which is largely dependent on oil as a source of income and foreign exchange. However, with oil prices taking a nosedive, with only a slight recovery in recent days, a lot of attention is now being given to other potential money spinners of the economy. One of them is agriculture. With over 40 million hectares of arable land, Nigeria, as of 2015, was still set to be spending an average of $32 billion dollars importing food. Tonight, I speak with Nigeria's Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Chief Aldo Ogwe, asking him how far he's gone in reducing how much we spend on food imports and how close we are to self-sufficiency, especially with the staples. Honorable Minister, thank you for coming on Hard Copy. And thank you too for inviting me here. Thank you. Oh, I know it's been a very busy day for you, a most uh, hectic schedule, but uh, I'm going to start with this one. There was a recent assessment by Premium Times, I don't know if you saw it, on the first year performance of sitting ministers. Did you see it? No. Okay. Well, in that assessment, you were scored average based on the targets that you've set for yourself and the uh, Greek ministry. Do you think that you're average? Um, I don't know the criteria he used, but I think we we should rate ourselves as uh, above average uh, because we have set targets where we're meeting them. Uh, people think that generally agriculture happens overnight. It doesn't. There are seasons to contend with, there are inputs to provide, and it takes people to make agriculture happen. Even mobilizing Nigerians and sharpening their consciousness to recognize what agriculture is and what it should be, uh, it's taking a bit of time. The response is good. Mm. But if that's his uh, reckoning, well, he has his reasons. Well, if it's any consolation, I don't know if any minister scored above average there, but there were ministers who scored below average, and okay. uh, average seemed to be a fair rating based on what I saw in the assessment. Okay. But some of the targets which you talked about uh, is which you set and which the online medium also enumerated include to reduce the 32 billion dollars Nigerians spent on importing food annually mm -hmm. to intensify research and marketing for food to tackle the problem of high rate of malnutrition in the country to tackle food poisoning which has led to the increase of cancer uh, liver and kidney failure by 25% in the last 25 years. These are targets that you recognize. Absolutely. Now, how far would you say uh, you've gone with, or how close are you to achieving any of these targets? Well, let's begin with the grains, mm. the staples we call them. Rice, uh, millet, sorghum, and wheat. We had the first major harvest of wheat early this year, February. About 300,000 tons. We're targeting double of that figure this year. Because wheat was a, a, a crop we started produce, uh, dealing with many years ago, and then we had, we, had, we had challenges. We were even instructed by one of our uh, partner nations not to grow wheat. On the grounds that growing wheat was a hostile act, that we should buy wheat from them. After all, they were buying uh, petroleum products from us. So the production of wheat stopped after the First Republic. Uh, and then there was, there was an attempt to revive it uh, during the Babangida regime, and that also was stalled. But rice, we never really engaged in seriously because we got used to importing rice from Thailand. Five million dollars worth per day. Per day. And it all began again in the Second Republic when we had uh, a, what I call a ridiculous arrangement where there was a task force for the importation of rice. I was a young minister in the cabinet then, and I asked myself, why a task force for the importation of rice? We should have a task force for the production of rice. All that has passed. We are now seriously dealing with rice. We are close to 5 million tons, approaching the 7 million tons of rice per annum, which we set for ourselves, which we shall achieve by next year. I'm going to home in on rice much later, but looking at some of these targets here, talking about intensifying research 
and marketing for food. There are questions on how far we've gone with research or how much funding it is we provided for research. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, how much would you say we've been able to reduce of this $32 billion that we currently spend on importing food? The two major items on the import list mm -hmm. are wheat and rice. And then you can't believe it, fruit juice concentrates. And then milk and sugar. They are the big ones. Sugar production hasn't grown that much, but there are made two major uh, producers now, uh, Nigerian breweries, uh, what's the name of the, the, the Greeks, the Comantaros, and the Nigerian flour mills, and then Dangote. They are the major investors in sugar. They are coming along, local production is still quite low. A lot more has to be done. Again, machinery. Again, sensitization of farmers. Now, we've gotten as close as we can to the issue of cutting down costs. Tomato paste production is being challenged because the importers are actually fighting back. They lower their prices. It becomes so much cheaper than local producers. And unless we take some stern measures, they will never allow the imports to thrive. The quarrel we have is that the quality of tomato paste that we're eating is very doubtful. They use a reddening element. And in the labs, when these things are tested by NAFDAQ, they say they are unfit for human consumption. But then you have to deal with uh, uh, the, 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 the World Trade Organization. If you ban anything, you have to give reasons. Because we're supposed to have uh, gotten into this whole business of free trade. Don't close your borders. Allow everything to flow. Africa, by and large, has been the victim of this whole philosophy. Because where are they receiving end? We import everything. Lose all our forex. We are moving along. One year for agriculture is quite a while. It took Brazil 50 years. It took India 60 years to get to sell food, uh, uh, food sufficiency. Nigerians are in a hurry. And it's rightfully so. But they forget that for nearly 30 years, we abandoned agriculture. We were a great agricultural economy in the First Republic. Then oil and gas came. And we went to sleep. Now, getting it back will take a while. We are driving with the speed, what the speed that, 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 that uh, nature can allow us to drive at. We don't have enough irrigation facilities, so you depend on the rains to do your agricultural production. We are going into more dams and irrigation now in next year's budget so that we can harvest food at least three times a year. It's a lot of things that we have to deal with, and you can't, you can't hurry the process.